Hi, I'm Ishan from FTC Live, and today we're going to be looking at Team 6299 Quad X from Texas. So they've got a really cool robot here, and one of the things I was really interested in is all the wood that you have. Like, Quad X has had wood for a while. Can you explain a little bit about why you use it and what advantages there are to it? So our team has always traditionally been wood-based and 3D printing, um, but it's something that's very light. So on our robot, we had to have a ton of panels, so that allowed for us to really like, expand on a lot of designs and go for something that was really robust. Um, but also, it's really cheap to manufacture using a CNC or a laser cutter sometimes, um, and it's just really easy to uh, to get from you know Home Depot, anything like that. And also, if you want to make any changes, like drilling holes, countersunk holes, that's a lot easier on something like this than aluminum. So you said that you use CNC and laser cutting. When do you use either one? What do you use them for? So we primarily use uh, a CNC for all of our main panels. And then if we need to do any engraving, like on the top of our robot for our uh, sponsor panel, you can see that we have some laser uh, engraving on there. That's really cool. And so I also wanted to look into a little bit about your extending base. You guys have a really unique drivetrain here. Could you explain a little bit about why you use that? Yeah, so at the beginning of the season, we decided that we wanted to go with a central arm design, but we decided against linear slides because we just wanted to try and simplify the design overall and just have one single arm. So uh, at the beginning of the match, we unfold our arm, and it actually has a passive pin system that locks um, the arm at a full extension. But once we had created this, we realized just how big it was and how heavy it is, and so we needed something to be able to counterbalance that. Um, we looked at using a weight that would shift in relation to the movement of the arm or just putting a big weight on the back of the robot, but we needed way too much weight for that, especially with the 42 pound limit. Um, so we made an extending drivetrain that goes all the way out to 32 inches, which moves our center of gravity back. And so we'll expand at the beginning of a match so that we were able to stay stable while we're scoring and then we shrink at the end game to hang again. And then I heard that you have some unique elements in your hang mechanism. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so our uh, hook is actually two different stages, and it's powered by surgical tubing. So um, whenever it's on the first stage, this is when we're hanging during autonomous, um, the weight of the robot and friction keeps it on that first stage. And whenever it drops down, the weight comes off and it snaps back and releases us, and then we're able to hang an endgame using that second stage hook. So that's really cool because I know you guys get right off the ground and I think because of that shifting mechanism, you're able to switch into it. Well, thank you very much for this interview. Good luck at the rest of the competition and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.